Does your damage look like this? Do your artifacts suck? Are you bad at Genshin Impact? Hi, I'm Sayastra, and welcome to my guide, where I will teach you everything you will need to know about character farming and how to destroy your resources. In order to level up your character as fast as possible, you're going to need some books and money. So before you even click on that wish button, take your 160 resin over to the light lines and just spam it every single day until you've become the Jeff Bezos and Albert Einstein of Genshin Impact. Once you have more than what you need, it is time to wish. First, fill up your wallet with some copium Primo gems. Then head over to the shop and convert them into intertwined fate for absolutely no reason. You should also do some rituals to convince yourself you have a better chance of getting your character. My personal favorite is the one where you kill off all of your characters. I'm feeling a little... And now, click the curse button for your... Oh! You, 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 you have to be kidding me. New character. After obtaining your character, your damage may look like this. That's even less than the amount of premium gems I have. To change it, you're definitely going to need some better weapons and artifacts. There are two ways to get the best weapons for your character. The first being a little swiping for those 5 star weapons. The second, well, you see, there's a certain group of weapons that are just very good. If you head over to the blacksmith, talk to him, and click on this button right here, you will be taken to a shop of some of the best weapons in the entire game. Just like Wagner says, You'll find no second rate items at Wagner's. What's good about these weapons is that they take less EXP to level up and have less ascensions, meaning you can max them out a lot easier than 4 or 5 star weapons, which is why they're just better. And you can also craft weapons using your abilities to help level up your 2 star weapons. As for the artifacts, all of the 5 stars are free of charge, except maybe costing your resin insanity. You'll probably have to switch up the artifact domains depending on your character, but this next part is the same for everyone. After obtaining your 5 star artifacts, you have to get some other artifacts, preferably these 2 star ones from Shili, and then equip them and enhance them with the 5 stars. These stats are actually so good because more HP means more surviving, and more surviving means more interesting gameplay. Crit damage? Who even needs crit damage? Again, these 2 stars are clearly superior because they only need 4 levels to max out. With the artifacts out of the way, you're going to need materials now, and a lot of it. The most important part of this guide is that you start on a Sunday. On this one specific day, every domain will have your required material, whether that be for your weapon or talent. There is one problem you might notice though. You only have 160 resin to spend on this one day, so you can't possibly get all the materials. Right? Well, here's the thing. If you are observant, you might notice a plus sign next to your resin. Believe it or not, you can spend just 50 Primo gems to get 60 resin back. Keep buying this until you're out of Primo gems, and then use your fragile and condensed resin afterwards to maximize the amount of materials you can get. Next, you can start spamming the world bosses for some character essential materials. Weekly bosses will be needed for higher talent level ups, and you'll need to stock up a bunch of them or else you probably won't have enough. You will also need a lot of local specialties, which can only respawn every 2 days. An easy way to obtain a ton of these materials is to start gardening. It only takes 3 days to grow, and you can always plant more after. Some other specialties can't be grown, so you need to force your way into other people's worlds and raid all their supplies. The final type of material will require you to kill a variety of enemies. Um, just get them. Alright, we have all of the materials for Arataki Ito. Boop, 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 boop. Final ascension, and there we go. I think numero uno just went from nickname to reality. Boom! <laughs> hey, but just because I made it to the top doesn't mean I'm gonna forget all the things you've done for me, okay? Still got your back, anytime, anywhere. 
This voice line is delayed. Okay, um... There we go. Max level weapon. Yeah, so about the uh, about the weekly boss materials, I may have not farmed enough of those in the weeks prior, so I definitely don't have enough. But here's the thing, it is always worth it to spend one crown on each of your talents for every character. And now, it is time for you to ascend and deal an ungodly amount of damage. But first, whip out the most optimal team for your character. The universally accepted team is Bennett for his ult, Amber for Baron Bunny, and finally, Hate to Win Barbara for Jellyfish. If you don't have her, I suppose you could just use Budget Kokomi. When you're ready, enter the boss battle. Use Baron Bunny and Jellyfish for moral support. Charge up your damage with Ben, and then... See that you still suck at this game. It's definitely because I didn't upgrade my talents to level 10. That's 100% the reason. So yeah, that was my Cursed Genshin Impact guide. If you enjoyed this dumb meme video, consider subscribing. I also started to stream on Twitch again at twitch.tv slash in case you wanted to come watch me live. But that's all, goodbye.